Mark must kick the legs out from under the building. His plan requires the complete failure of the ground floor walls, but the density of reinforcing bar makes this increasingly unlikely. The explosions will start at the north end, shatter the reinforced wall, and direct it towards the middle of the structure. With subsequent explosions, the walls will tumble like dominoes. But if Mark can't conquer the reinforcing bar and cause the north wall to fail completely, the building could remain upright, causing what's known as a sit-down. If it sits down too early, it might stand up. Uh, so we could have we could have sections of structure standing. Sit-downs have happened before. 2006, in Pittsburgh, a different demolition company tried to implode the East Hill high rise. A portion of the building didn't fail. And when gravity couldn't finish the job, a second set of blasts was required. On implosion day, Mark must guarantee that this wall will fail completely to ensure a safe and complete end to the frontier. So to overcome the rebar loaded into the ground floor, he'll use an old logging trick. We've got to get it moving. I've got to create a notch here, just like you would notch a tree. And you can see the development of this notch back here a little bit. All of this has to go away in the blink of an eye. But Mark won't use an ax. He'll use some pre-weakening and dynamite to create the notch. The team must place extra explosives to remove more of the wall and rebar on implosion day. But that's assuming they can drill the holes. Craig Keyes is still drilling. Usually, he will drill something the order of 100 to 130 holes a day. Yesterday, in four hours, he got four. And I think that probably says it all. Mark is not happy. Craig Keyes has been derailed by the sheer size and amount of rebar in the walls. With time running out, CDI brings in the big gun. Right now, we're running into a lot of rebar in the building. The lower you go in the building, the more rebar will be encountered. The Toya drill that I use, the handheld drill, is having a really hard time chewing through the rebar. So now we have the track drill going, and it has a much easier time. It's called the track drill, and it has enough power to punch through steel, with the track drill working overtime. 